What's going on with y'all boys, man? It's your boy J Intro. Look, I got a new video. I got a new bill. Now I usually make I make one of these videos like every now and then. I ain't really I don't really want to be like a bill channel. But I found a bill that if you have the time to grind the 99, this build will be OP. Now I'm about to get straight to it. As you can see right here. You want to be a shooting guard. You can make this build at point guard or small forward, but I feel like the best version of this build would be at shooting guard. Now this could be, you can consider this like a Jordan build, uh, um, Kobe build, uh, who, like anybody that's six six and can get buckets, you really can can classify this build as that person. You know what I'm saying? Now you want to go with this pie chart right here. This is one of the most slept on pie charts in the game. A lot of people don't, you know, acknowledge this pie chart or a lot of people don't you know they just they just don't know it they don't say they don't talk about this pie chart that often but this is the most green with um some blue you know what i'm saying this it's another it's another variant of the blue green but it's the one with mostly green you feel me now i went with the um the speed pie chart now here go the stats right here i don't know if i'm gonna skip to win i got the stats on or i'm gonna just show y'all off the rip all right, the first way that I would make this build is like this. I, I skipped ahead, you know, went on here to make this the build. This the way I would make the build. Actually, nah, this probably the way that a majority of people would make this build. Now, the way I would make it, I would probably I would drop the free throw down and actually try to get this build some post fade because I I don't know why, but I just be wanting to shoot. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but as of late i've been wanting to shoot post phase on my build so i probably do something like this if you want more finishing and you don't really care about post fade i think you can get 11 just off the strength of your um your um close shot i think you can get you can get yeah 11 finishing badges just off the strength of these three right here and then you can get 19 shooting if you like i said if you don't care about um post fade i mean if you don't care about free throw if you're just gonna play park with this bill you can you can not even put free throw on it and put it all in post fade and you'll get 22 shooting badges but i really want y'all to pay attention to hold on let me i'm gonna do the way i'm gonna do it the post fade route real quick i'm gonna do it the post fade route now you see the stats now now you want to go six five you want to go minimum weight and then you want to go you want to max the wingspan now look at these stats i want you to think about this build the reason i said that this will be a good build if you want to grind it to 99 it's a good build like off the rip anyway but if you want to grind this build to 99 you will be able to get cut and then look i'll drop my controller hold on a minute uh what i was saying oh this build at 99 you get the good dunk package you get an 82 driving dunk you get a you will get an 84 three-pointer a 86 mid-range a 94 post fade you will get the good dribbling dribble moves dribbling moves it's crazy you get the good dribble moves you'll get you will have decent defense you'll have 80 perimeter defense 82 perimeter defense like a 77 lateral quickness and an 86 steal but the thing about this build is the fact that you can get contact dunks and takeover you can get contact dunks and takeover so if you pick this slash and takeover you will get contact dunks but before i even show y'all what the name of the build is now y'all probably already seen the build in either the in the thumbnail or the title or both but the name of the build makes this build even better it's one of the new i ain't gonna say i don't know if it's new but i just i know like as of late i've been seeing a lot of people making videos on these builds but um you can go slash and take and get contact dunks and take over and then the name that you get it's perimeter lockdown <laughs> like you a perimeter lockdown that get contact dunks can shoot can dribble and play defense now the, the worst area of this build is the defense so it's kind of ironic that you call it a perimeter lockdown but you really you know you get six defensive badges that's crazy but like i said this build is like at 99 even even at 95 overall this build is still decent but at 99 is really when this build the best like if i would have found this build beginning of 2k21 i probably would have made this build because like usually i don't I, I don't get most of my bills to 99 probably the only build i usually get to the 99 is my first build and like the last build that i make huh the bills that i get to 99 is usually the first build i make in the build that i play with the most 
Not a for like, and that, they usually is two separate bills for me. But yeah, I'm about to show y'all which badges I would put on this player. Um, I'll go slithery gold, limited takeoff gold. You can go posterizer gold, and I'll probably either go either fearless finisher silver or acrobat silver. But I probably go fearless finisher for right now. Shooting badge, you get so many shooting badges. Uh, you get Hall of Fame shooting. Now, this be a 6'5", so I don't know how much you would really need Mismatch Expert because you 6'5". So the only people that, that Mismatch Expert is going to work on is bigger, um, it's like centers. Because you 6'5", and it works in a 4-inch four, a four radius. You got to be at least 4 inches um, taller than the person for it to activate, I think. So... If you if you six five, then you the only people that your your um mismatch expert gonna work against is people that six nine and up. So you really ain't gonna be you know what I'm saying. So that I don't know how how well that's gonna work for people. But me personally, lately I've been wanting to be like a kind of a shot creator type of player. Even though I still don't play like a shot creator in the park, like my natural instinct in the park is to shoot and dunk and pass and dribble. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think about shooting pull up mid ranges mainly because it's so hard to get open for mid range in the park. Like quick stop, like you can quick stop at the mid range, but for the most part, you can't really get open um, for mid ranges unless you fading. So I would put on gold difficult shots. You get a 90 post fade, so I would put on some some variant of, of fade ace. I don't know if I would put it on silver Hall of Fame. I probably put it on like gold. Um. Then you get you got so many you got so many shooting badges it's crazy. You can get circus threes. You can shoot leaning threes. Um, high zone hunter. I guess you can put that on. I usually don't run high zone hunter no more. But if you want to put high zone hunter on, you could run high zone hunter. Um, and probably like silver dead eye some playmaking badges. You get fifteen playmaking badges. Now off the rip, them the two main ones that you need to get. Now after that, you know, you get unpluggable. Then you probably get some variant of quick chain and hyperdrive. Some variant of bullet pads. If you want to go silver, bullet pads or bronze. And tight handles. Tight handles is OP. Even at bronze. Like it just activates so randomly. But if you know how to like, you know, do if you know which moves to activate tight handles, it'll it'll activate a lot even on bronze. Um but yeah, this is probably something I do on on my playmaking maybe maybe i i take this down and put on like a bronze bill light if i needed to but for the most part this probably something i run or something like this because i love bullet pass i love that badge i don't know why but they're just they just that badge right there i don't know you get rim protect on this bill this probably something i do right here yeah this this something i do right here Probably put on silver and timber. I don't, I don't. I rarely run my clamps over um, silver now, because it's not unless it's like a defensive build. I'm not putting my clamps over silver. Even on a defensive build, I don't even run clamps over silver. To be honest with you, but this build is a shooting guard, so I don't know how how many like good offensive players you're gonna be guarding at the at the two position or sometimes the three. I don't know, but these are the badges I would run right here. And yeah, that's the um, that's the build. I just wanted to you know bring out this video on this build because this this build, I don't know if I'm gonna make it anytime soon, but I found this build the other night. I was just in the build. I don't even know how I came across this build. I just was upgrading. I don't I don't know how I came across this build. To be honest with you, I don't know how I came across it. I just made something. And I just went, I, I don't know what I did. I don't know how I made this bill, to be honest. I don't know how I came across this bill, but I, I came across this bill. And I was, and I looked at it, and I was like, hold on a minute. This bill get the, get the good dunks. He can get contact dunks. He can dribble. And at 97 overall, he can get all the good, the, the decent dribble moves. It can shoot. It can play defense to an extent. I was like, and then you get perimeter lockdown as the name. I think I think I was trying to make like a like one of them catfish builds, like the two way finisher, and all that. But I, not even a two way finisher, just show a two way finisher so people can leave open. But yeah, this is another version. I don't know if anybody done brought this video like this exact pie chart. I know you can make it off of other pie charts like the catfish builds, but I don't know if anybody has brought this specific pie chart. 
the part that I chose. But yeah, hey, this hey, this the build. I don't know. I don't even know if this video hitting the tube or not. But I did want to make this video because I ain't made no video this week. And yeah, I see y'all in this one.